his kids meet near the cross where a precious fountain free to all the healing stream flows from calvary's fountain in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river near the cross a trembling soul love and mercy found me there the bright and morning star shed its beams around me in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my wretched soul shall find rest beyond the river near the cross O Lamb of God bring its sins before me help me walk from day to day with its shadow o'er me in the cross in the cross be my glory ever till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river a hearty welcome to each one of you my dear brothers and sisters to this eucharistic celebration of love peace and joy we continue to pray for all those people who are in need of our prayers. We place before the Lord your prayers and intentions, asking the Lord to bless you and bless your efforts to come closer to Him. Let us now become aware of the presence of God in and around us and surrender ourselves totally into His loving care as we begin this Holy Eucharist. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observances of Holy Land, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct pursue with their efforts, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 9, verses 8 to 15. God spoke to Noah and his sons, See, I establish my covenant with you, and with your descendants after you, also with every living creature to be found with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast with you, everything that came out of the ark, everything that lives on the earth. I establish my covenant with you. 
no thing of flesh shall be swept away again by the waters of the flood there shall be no flood to destroy the earth again god said here is the sign of the covenant i make between myself and you and every living creature with you for all generations i set my bow in the clouds and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth when i gather the clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds i will recall the covenant between myself and you and every living creature of every kind and so the waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all things of flesh the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to, to god. god responsorial psalm your ways lord are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant your ways lord are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant lord make me know your ways lord teach me your paths make me walk in your truth and teach me for you are god my savior response your ways lord are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant Remember your mercy Lord and the love you have shown from of old in your love remember me because of your goodness O Lord response your ways Lord are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant the lord is good and upright he shows the path to those who stray he guides the humble in the right path He teaches his way to the poor. Response Your ways, Lord, are faithfulness and love for those who keep your covenant. Our reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 3, verses 18 to 22. The water on which the ark floated is a type of the baptism which saves you now. Christ himself innocent though he was died once for sins died for the guilty to lead us to god in the body he was put to death in the spirit he was raised to life and in the spirit he went to preach to the spirits in prison now it was long ago when noah was still building that ark which saved only a small group of eight people by water and when god was still waiting patiently that these spirits refused to believe that water is a type of the baptism which saves you now and which is not the washing of the physical dirt but a pledge made to god from a good conscience through the resurrection of jesus christ who has entered heaven and is at god's right hand now that he has made the angels and dominations and powers his subjects the word of the lord thanks, thanks be to god. god gospel acclamation praise to you o christ king of eternal glory man does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes from the mouth of god praise to you o christ king of eternal glory The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 1 verses 12 to 15. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the wilderness and he remained there for 40 days. and was tempted by satan he was with the wild beast and the angels looked after him after john had been arrested jesus went into galilee 
there he proclaimed the good news from God. The time has come, he said, and the kingdom of God is close at hand. Repent and believe the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we are on the first Sunday of Lent and as we have already begun this journey, a journey towards God, a journey which says no to sin and yes to be in God's presence. And when we undertake this journey, there will be a lot of obstacles, a lot of troubles, but we need to trust in the providence of God who is come to take us to be once again the beloved children of God. And therefore, this first Sunday that we celebrate today, we celebrate today God's unconditional love. God has never rejected us and never ever he is going to reject us because God is with us. God is with us as a companion leading us back where we truly and really belong. But on this journey of in this journey of land there will be a lot of temptations because the evil does not want us to really belong to our loving Father. And therefore, there will be a lot of temptations in various forms, deviating us from the path which we have undertaken to be in the presence of our Savior Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, in the first reading, it describes how Noah's family was saved from the waters of the flood by God's special providence. And how God made his first friendship covenant with mankind. Noah's rescue from the flood waters, it symbolizes how we are saved through the waters of baptism which cleanses us of sin and makes us one with Christ. Today's responsorial psalm is an execute penitential prayer, humbly acknowledging our insufficiency and our complete dependence upon God, upon His mercy and His forgiveness. The psalmist lists some of God's characteristics which are truth, compassion, love, goodness, humility and justice. In the, in the life of forgiven penitent. In the second reading, St. Peter shows us how Noah's episode prefigures baptism. And in the gospel, we are told that Jesus faced and defeated the tempter at the end of his 40 days of prayer and penance in the desert, which was immediately followed by his baptism. Today's reading challenges to enter upon the reforming process of turning away from self from evil and from sin so as to turn towards God and towards others with renewed faith and fervor. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the, to summarize the entire readings in a nutshell is that Jesus faced temptation with prayer and penance. These were his tools to overcome the tempter 
and these are the tools that the church places in our hands to pray unceasingly and fast lovingly and when we pray and fast our prayer becomes stronger our prayer is strengthened because we rely not on ourselves but on the power of our savior jesus as jesus relied after his baptism the spirit led him in the wilderness he was completely dependent upon his father and during this season of lent as we undertake this journey from the desert to the promised land we are only called to trust in the providence of god god who loves us is not going to leave us alone jesus was not alone in the desert he was accompanied by the angels they were there to be at his service and in the same way we are not alone walking in this journey of land but our savior jesus is accompanying us so my dear brothers and sisters let us not forget the tools to carry along with us during this season of grace and those two tools are prayer and penance prayer and fasting let us then my dear brothers and sisters let us joyfully undertake this journey with these tools because we are not going anywhere but we are going to be in the presence of our savior jesus so let us undertake this journey with a joyful heart with a firm faith with confidence with trust let us undertake the journey of grace and walk confidently with prayer and fasting may god bless us and our efforts to be in his presence amen Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the, on the third, third day, he rose, he rose again, from, again the from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, of God the Father Almighty. From, from there, there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us now bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for our Holy Father Pope Francis, cardinals, bishops, priests and religious. We pray for our political leaders that they may work towards harmony and peace. We pray for peace in the world. We pray for the doctors, the nurses. We pray for the patients who are sick and suffering especially those who are on their death beds we pray for all the people who are administering to them we pray for the teachers the students we pray for the youth we pray for the jobless we pray for all those to whom we have promised to pray for we also bring before the lord your prayers and petitions that you have placed before the lord asking the lord to bless you with his grace and strength in the silence of our hearts let us bring before the lord everything that we need to offer him so that we walk joyfully in this season of grace to be in his presence god our loving father as we undertake this journey of grace to be in your presence we have placed before you our prayers and petitions asking you lord to bless us 
bless our efforts to come close in your presence. Bless our prayer, our fasting, and our almsgiving. May these tools give us the grace and strength to walk joyfully in the season of land with your grace. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, your own, through your goodness, Lord, we bring bread of our labor and wine to cheer the heart, which will soon be filled for us with the life of your Son, Abba, Father, let us be. Yours and yours alone. Set our hearts, our spirits free. Make us, Lord, your own. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Give us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings, for with them we celebrate the beginning of this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining forty long days from earthly food, He consecrated through His fast the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of malice, so that celebrating worthily the Paschal mystery, we might pass over at last to the eternal Paschal feast, and so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without an we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection 
you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through him and with him and in him, a God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by His divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, be thy name. name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is heaven. in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, us. against us. And lead us, us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May bountiful blessing, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in tribulation, virtue be strengthened in temptation, and eternal redemption be assured. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. 
the Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Wishing you a happy day. A cross erected above the world Cross of our Savior King O cross erected above the world, cross of our Saviour King, found from which gushed the waters, straight from the wound in His side, filling our lives with His gift of grace, cross of our Saviour King. O cross sublime and refulgent tree, cross of our Saviour King. O cross sublime and refulgent tree, cross of our Saviour King. Jesus through thee has saved us, great was the price that he paid. Thou art the folly of love divine, 